Hi, my name is Nenad Stefanovski and welcome to another episode of Around the Cup in 90 Days. Today, in the first half, we will take a look at the Aspire Academy in Qatar, which has been their central sports hub since its inception and is responsible for developing almost their entire national football team. In the second half, we will show you some of our favorite displays of support by fans at World Cups. Yes, international football doesn't have the intricately designed choreographies that club football does, but it has definitely been home to some dedicated, colorful and passionate displays of support, which we will be showing you. The Aspire Academy has been at the forefront of Qatar's sporting revolution. In addition to football, they focus on other sports including athletics, bringing them six medals in the Olympics since its inception in 2004, including two gold medals at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. The Academy scouts some of the best raw talent in the region and provides them with an education and the most elite training facilities to develop in. Graduates from the Aspire Academy formed the backbone of the Qatari national team and were instrumental in Qatar's first Asian Cup win in 2019. They plan on becoming the world's leading sport Science and Development Academy using data analytics as key component. This may seem ambitious, but so was their World Cup bid, and here we are. I think a lot of you will be surprised by how well Qatar can play football and where they will be on the international stage in some 10 years. Vuvuzelas, an unnecessarily loud instrument, are the first on our list. They were definitely annoying for the players and even some fans, but all will agree that their sound is unique to the 2010 World Cup in South Africa and all of the festivities it brought us. Next up is Peru fans traveling to Russia for their first World Cup in 36 years. 14,000 kilometers separate Peru from the three cities in which they played and their fans still turned up in mind-blowing numbers. 40,000 traveling fans invaded every game with passion and singing, earning them the 2018 FIFA Fan Award. Iceland at their first World Cup in in Russia 2018 has to be our favorite display of support. Their memorable Viking Thunderclap boosted their players to an incredible tournament drawing against Argentina and giving Croatia, eventual finalists, a run for their money. They're the smallest nation to ever qualify for a FIFA World Cup, but definitely one with the biggest hearts. 99% of their television watchers in Iceland watched every game, which is some 60% of their entire population. We hope to see lots of new inventive displays of support this November in what is to be the best connected and most congested World Cup in history. Welcome to our Extra Time prize game. In order for a chance to be in for a prize, simply like, share and subscribe and write down the answer to our following question in the comment section below. Stay tuned to see whether you are a lucky winner. Thank you for watching another episode of Around the Cup in 90 Days and stay tuned for daily updates on everything to do with the World Cup. Please like, share and subscribe if you like what we do and I hope to see you again tomorrow.